Indian democracy is what I describe as a defective elective democracy. We say we are a democracy because we have elections, we have a constitution, but it does not deliver to the individual citizen. The individual citizen, usually if he comes to a government office, goes out feeling frustrated and humiliated and angry. This is because we have not learned to respect the individual citizen. Right to information gives that. The fact that a person can question the decision of an information commissioner or a Supreme Court judge or a governor or a chief minister changes the whole way the power equation works in democracy. I'm an engineer by training from IIT Bombay. About 15 years back, I decided I wanted to do something socially relevant. Uh, the appellant has stated that the person whose information he is asking. At that time, Maharashtra, the state from which I come, brought in a very good Right to Information Act. To me, the most important thing is that Right to Information empowers an individual citizen sitting in her own house into questioning and making some change in the whole governance structure. For a law that's just seven years old, there are a number of commissions where cases are being heard after two years and three years. What I saw is that they were not doing adequate work and piling up pendencies and if backlogs built up, they would become like the Indian judicial system which I believe doesn't deliver to the citizen. Show me, show me what of this is exactly. They invited me to be on the commission and I grabbed the opportunity since I thought I could make a difference by demonstrating what can be done. I have, in the last three years and nine months, disposed over 20,000 cases. My office works without any paper files. This is the only office in the whole country, in terms of information commissions, that has no paper files. We get everything digitized, and we use a digitized image on a computer. This computer file is then open for everybody to access. Another person usually prepares a summary, the background of what's the main issues, in the appeal. The RTI applicant went where, what dates, what happened. That becomes the background to the case. Someone else then fixes a date of hearing, which is usually three to four weeks later, so that it gives enough time for postage and so on. For people who are not near or in Delhi, we offer them video conference facility. Citizens or PIOs go to the NIC center and from there we can see them on the screen and talk to them. In India, the average user is actually the citizen who is trying to get his petty grievance addressed. An RT application is filed with a public information officer. If a person is not satisfied, he goes to a first appellate authority. And if he is not satisfied with that, he comes to a commission which is a final appellate authority for right to information. The commissioner is expected to hear appeals, adjudge on them, decide whether the information can be given as per the law, whether the public information officer has acted as per the law in giving information in 30 days as is required. And if he doesn't do it, the commissioner has the power to penalize a public information officer at the rate of rupees 250 per day with a maximum cap of 25,000 rupees. If he did not have a penalty provision, this act would have been toothless and worthless long time back. property inspection property photo report The PR is given information as per records. But it appears that the MCD officials are not recording certain unauthorized building construction on their records. Generally, the number of cases listed per day is between 20 and 25. So I'm not interested, not, I mean, as a human being, I may be interested, but as 
right now we don't waste time. I must warn you, there are a lot of people who say I'm also very rude, which is true. I am trying to run a fairly tight schedule. You come for a hearing, you don't even know what is happening, and Joe be I am bullying it. That's what's happening. You, you are correcting yourself while sitting here. I, I don't want to be rude, but I believe the poorest man in the country pays for me. This time is very precious. I'm a public health activist and uh, I'll file a public interest litigation in Supreme Court on the death which occurred during clinical trial all over the India and the compensation paid to the clinical trial victims. They, these companies, these pharma companies are very strong, they don't often report to DCJ. And DCJ. <laughs> no, I have no opposition to clinical trials and even if I had, that's not the subject matter. The matter is only... With respect to deaths. With respect to deaths suspected to have occurred out of clinical trials. On something like this, if the government is not sensitive, I, I think there is a serious problem. Yes, I do agree. There's a very serious problem. Very serious. I have a strong belief that for India, at the stage at which we are, more transparency is required for better governance, for better democracy, for reducing corruption, a whole gamut of things. And therefore, my decisions tend to interpret the exemptions narrowly. Explain the reason how it is commercially disadvantaged. My default position is, right to information is a fundamental right of citizens. So before you deny a fundamental right, you got to have strong reasons for denying that. The commission feels that such data should actually be available every month. In, I would say 97 to 98% of the cases, I take a decision immediately. Last year, in fact, I disposed 5,900. If one worked a little more on the process, I think it's possible to raise this figure to about seven or 8,000 per year. But that is not relevant. I think any commissioner should be holding hearings for around five hours a day, which is not happening in most cases. Two, organizing yourself a little systematically and working only digitally helps great deal. For a number of cases, I have got certain templates. Primarily, this was based on designing a work system, which was explained to every staff member in the office, ensuring that everybody, including the peon, could do virtually all jobs. I am sure it can be replicated in India and in other countries. In fact, not just that. I believe what I have done is just the beginning.